Smartcast. You're listening to a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. The aggrieved grapplers called off their protest late on Friday night after getting assurances from the government that their grievances would be addressed. The first step of which was the stepping aside of under fire wrestling federation of India chief Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. The wrestlers, including Vinesh Fogart, Bachran Pandya, Sakshi Milik, and Ravi Dahiya, decided to end their protest after a breakthrough was achieved during a marathon second round of talks with Union Sports Minister Anurag Thakur. The government decided to form an oversight committee which will investigate the allegations of sexual harassment of women wrestlers by the WFI president. Chris Hipkins, who played a significant role in New Zealand's response to the COVID-19 pandemic, is set to replace Jacinda Ardern as Prime Minister after emerging on Saturday as the only candidate to lead the ruling Labour Party. Hipkins is expected to be confirmed as the new leader at a meeting of Labour's 64 lawmakers, or caucus, on Sunday. I think we're an incredibly strong team, Hipkins told a news conference after the party announced him as the sole candidate. Google's parent Alphabet Incorporated is cutting about 12,000 jobs as it faces a different economic reality, it said in a staff memo, doubling down on artificial intelligence and axing staff who support experimental projects. The job cuts affect 6% of its workforce, and follows thousands of layoffs at tech giants including Amazon.com Incorporated. Microsoft Corp and Meta Platforms Incorporated, who are downsizing after a pandemic-led hiring spree left them flabby in a weak economy. Sundar Pichai, Alphabet's boss since 2019, said in the memo on Friday that he took full responsibility for the decisions that led to the layoffs. <laughs> Delhi Capitals coach Ricky Ponting wants cultural leader Rishabh Pant in the dugout every day of the week in the forthcoming IPL. Ruled out of the IPL after surviving a horrific car accident in the last week of December, India wicketkeeper and DC skipper Pant is currently recovering after undergoing a series of surgeries in Mumbai. You can't replace those guys, simple as that. They don't grow on trees, players like that. If he's actually able to travel and be around the team, then I want him sitting beside me in the dugout every day of the week, Ponting said. After the massive success of Trish Shim 2, director Abhishek Padak is all set to get married to his long-term girlfriend Kuta Hafiz actress Shulika Oberoi in February. Sources have confirmed that the wedding will be a two-day intimate affair in Goa. Close friends and family will be expected to attend this grand wedding. The who's who of Bollywood are set to make an appearance at the wedding and bless the couple. You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap. A beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. This was a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. HD Smartcast.